Hello, this is another instructional video from Hardy. If it's been a while since you've used the HC2500, we'll walk you through the basic steps and hopefully also give you some tips on how to get the most out of this product. Let's turn it on. We have four buttons. This is the Pages button to open the menus. And this up and down button is the navigation. The enter button uh, is to accept a value or exit. The most used function is setting the application rate and this is done with either one of these buttons. So to change the rate, I do that and after a few seconds it will go back or I can push the accept button. The enter button can also be used to show the area and volume sprayed. So I've got that here and I can see that this is area one. The last button is the pages button to enter the menus. And they're shown on the quick guide. So here we can see all these sub menus. I want to go to uh, this area trip and I want to go into that and I want to change it from 1 to 2. Let's have a look. I've now got it on area 2 and I'll clear that later on. If you use this readout it needs to be reset after filling. Open the main menu, find tank contents, it's actually shown in there also, enter that and I need to increase that value to match what's in the tank. That's done, I accept that, leave that and now I can see the value on the display. As I spray that will count down. I now want to recalibrate the speed to give you an idea of how the submenus work. Go to calibration Look into that, find speed, and we have a speed constant. Let's see what that is. This is 0 0.15 meters per pulse. Now I need to drive to a fixed spot where I have got a known distance. Uh, to recalibrate, go to practical, look into that zero and I'm starting from a point that I've measured up and now I will drive the distance and as I'm doing that the computer is telling me what it thinks it's doing distance wise. I've now driven the measured distance I'll correct that back to the distance and now I have my new constant if I want to go back to the old constant, I can go back into calibration, into the speed calibration, and go back to the constant. That was the one that I'd just done, and I want to change that back to 0 0.15. So there I can move the blinking cursor, and here I can change this back. Another handy menu is the test menu. So if you suspect, for example, the speed sensor is faulty, you can go into the menus again and find sensor test, go into that, find the speed, and go into that, and now it says drive slowly, and for every pulse I should get a count. Everything okay here. I'm starting a new spray job, but I want to reset the active register. So if I press and hold the accept button, it'll count down and it'll clear the register. To see the total work done by this setup, I can open the area trip 
for zero. And here I can see the total area done for all the uh, trip tillers. The sprayer can work without the computer. If you have a fault and suspect the computer, you can disconnect it. If the fault persists, then it's not the computer. We hope this video has helped you. If you're looking for other uh, videos, check out our YouTube channel.